Hi guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we are going to show you how to remove and replace the side view mirror on a Volkswagen Jetta or Golf 5th generation from 2005 all the way until 2010. Stay with us to see how we are going to do that. That's the replacement that we have. Don't forget to subscribe, we have a new video on our channel every day. What we are going to need is a T20, T30 and a prime tool or a screwdriver to do that. You can use a flathead screwdriver if you don't have a, a prime tool. But you need to remove that, uh, first thing you need to remove that cover right there. Okay, just like that. And after that there is uh, two bolts with the T30. Okay, one is right there, it's hard to show you but you see where exactly it is where exactly they are located and those are usually pretty tight so make sure and again we say make sure you use the right tool otherwise you will strip the bolt and the second one is right there as well okay you might need to even use a ratchet if it's too tight okay just like that they're not very very long but make sure you don't drop this one inside the door panel now you have to be holding it once it gets loose Okay, right there. Okay, that's what the bolt looks like. And the, the top one as well. Uh, you might not be able to remove the top one, it's fine. You can use small pliers to pull it out if you need to, but we won't have to. And now on the bottom, there is one more screw that we'll need to remove. And you can see where that light is. So with that T20, there is an, a screw that you need to take off all the way. It's holding the door panel to the door pretty good. So if you don't take this one off, you won't be able to remove the door panel. Okay, that's what it looks like. And there is one more next to it. So all together, two screws on the bottom and two bolts under the door handle. Okay, we removed the second one and now the third one is right there. So all together, guys, three, ball, three screws on the bottom and two under the door handle right there and now there is one more extra it's right next to the uh, cover for the side view mirror right there and now if you get a prying tool or a screwdriver you need to start on one side guys and those are really really tight clips so you have hard time pulling the first one out but once you pull one of them out and they might slip out even we'll show you what, what could happen and we'll, we'll show you where exactly all of them are, so you know you know where to apply pressure and not to break them. Okay, as you can see, clicking out, so that's good, the, the less you have, the easier it is. And now, okay, and if you pull a little bit right here, you come out, you just need to be careful if it hasn't been removed. Okay, so what you need to do now in order to remove it, you need to Pull, that's the cable for the unlock, uh, for the door handle so you need to pull to the back pull it out okay it was really hard to show you guys so this is the wire for the window switch right here so all you need to do is just push down like that and pull at the same time and this is for the speaker that's the, just the same uh, this is for unlocking the doors actually right there and the one for the speaker you need to press in on both sides okay and now we'll show you what happened with the door clips uh, you need to, they actually stay there, so what you need to do, you need to pry them open now and, okay, you can pull them out like that and that's how they come loose, just like that. And now you need to go ahead and install them on the door panel right here where they were, they came off because those are pretty tight, they've never been removed before. Okay, there is one more right here and we're missing one on the bottom as well. Okay, this one is the last one. So you can see where the clips are now. Oh, this is the back side of the door. So we have one, two, three here. You have on the front three, so all together six clips. And you know now where to apply a little bit of pressure so you can remove them. Next thing, in order to remove the side view mirror, you need to remove that cap. And with a prying tool or a screwdriver, you need to pry it open. Okay, just like that. And now you need to remove that, that centerpiece right here. You need to be careful. You need to remove it for later, we will show you why when you install it you need to push it in, but that's after you replace the mirror. Okay, otherwise you will not be able to install the cover back on, that's what it looks like. And now we have one plastic cap that we will need to remove right here, okay, because we have a bolt underneath it for the side view mirror as well there. 
so with a flat screwdriver, screwdriver or a little bitty knife you can remove those. Now you need to remove the wiring harness. So you need to, you need to pull the wires out just like that. And now we need to unhook it there and you can see it come out of that holder there. And now you need to pull that red piece to the back like that. Now you can push down and pull the wire out. Okay, just like that. And now we have three bolts that we need to remove with that T30. Okay, one is right there. And some of those are really tight again. Okay, we got feet and we're going to use the impact, the little impact, because uh, we recommend using the, uh, the ratchet to getting them tightened, because you don't need to get them too tight. Okay. And careful not to drop those, they're really hard to get to. If they fall inside the door. Okay, and one more on top right there. Okay, just like that. Okay, now if you move the uh, mirror a little bit, it needs to come out of there. Okay, like that. You need to pull that foam thing. And now you can pull the wiring harness out. Okay. And that's it, guys. That's how you remove it. Then you pretty much install the new one. You get, you get the new one and you need to feed the wire now through the hole again. The same way. Okay, so you just need to feed this wire all the way through there. Make sure all the clips go and everything. And you need to make sure everything goes where it's supposed to. You need to go like that. Okay, you need to make sure everything lines up good. And now what we need to do is install the three, the three stub bolts on the inside with that T32 that we have and get those tight. Okay, we got those tied. Now you need to install that cap. And that's the guide, guys, that we were talking about. You need to install that one uh, right now because if it's on the uh, side view mirror cover, you will not be able to install it. You need to push all of them in and just go like that, okay? And now we can go ahead and install the wiring harness. Just push it in like that and feed it through, through the holders there. Okay, just like that. And now you need to push the wire in and push the red thing all the way in. And now we can go ahead and install the, the cover. You need to make sure everything lines up good. It goes where it's supposed to. And just push it in. Okay. You're going to make sure everything is good. Okay, just like that you hear it clicking. So now all we need to do is just install the door panel in reverse way that we took it apart. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for one new video every day. Morning.